The Eye Telescope Planner makes it easy to find beautiful objects in the night sky. You can access it from the Eye Telescope launch pad by selecting the telescope's drop-down menu and just clicking on Planner. A new search window opens. You can select your site on the left and the date on the right. Object types can be selected below. As an example, let's choose the Sighting Spring Observatory and see what's in the sky tonight. A whole kaleidoscope of beautiful images appear and it's just pages and pages of objects for you to image. Really amazing. So what do we do with this? Well, let's take a look at the different columns. We have a name column that is the popular name and also the catalog name, a preview of the image and then details. We have the right ascension and the declination and you can see there are some icons next to there. So you can actually copy the right ascension by clicking on that green icon and the declination directly from this page and paste it into the telescope control from there. The magnitude and size are also given and most importantly the phase angle to the moon which is often so difficult to assess. So in this search we were very close to full moon. So only objects that had an angle, a phase angle, that was greater than 60 degrees from the moon were taken into account. So that is why you see such large angles appear in the search. And then there's the visibility column. That is the set time, the rise time and the transit time of each object. And this takes the observatory wall into account being at least 30 degrees above the horizon. So which telescope should we choose? Well, let's choose an object. Let's choose the sculpted uh, galaxy NGC 253, for example. And you can take a closer look now by linking directly to the DSO browser. This opens a new page. And now you can see a beautiful graphical representation of the rise, uh, of the rise and the transit times. For example, you can see here's the 30 degree margin, which is the observatory wall. And you can see we can start imaging somewhere around uh, 136. And, the, and we can do it all day up to about 630 in the morning when you have sunrise. So this works very well. There's a lot more information on, the, on this page, which you should study in detail. It's really worth it. Interesting, however, is the telescope simulator because we don't know which type of telescope from eye telescope would be suitable for the size of the object. And the size of the object is displayed on top. You can see it's 29 arc minutes by 6.8 arc minutes. So we need at least 29 arc minutes in order to fit it. So press on the eye telescope icon and there's a new drop down menu that appears here. And you can see different types of telescopes. So let's scroll down and choose one telescope. Let's choose T30, the 500mm reflector, with a field of view of 0.7 degrees. Let's click on it and see if this fits. And you could see it would be a beautiful fit in this way. And that way you can choose many different telescopes and choose exactly what type of field of view you would like to have. Finally, there's the data sheet. Again, the right ascension and the declination and you can copy the coordinates. However, be careful when you copy the coordinates to the telescope control. First, you have to switch format and, and use the digital format, and then you can just press copy, and then you can first copy the right ascension and declination. And that's all you need. I wish you happy imaging.